Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. Today we have the brand new release preview of 2021 Don Russ. This is the first major release that we've had since Tops came out a full month ago. So it's nice to have some new cards to open up today. And we will have one hobby box in this video. As you can see, there are eight cards per pack in this new product, 24 packs per box. Also, you get three hits in here, three autographs or memorabilia cards per box on average. So a grand total of three total hits. I'm hoping there's more autos than relics, but we'll see. Also new this year, there's the ultra rare mysterious insert cards we'll be looking for. Also, as usual, the whammy inserts are back one per case, which is one in roughly 16 boxes. We'll be doing a case break of this on Sunday evening. So you can check us out for that. Tomorrow we have a pretty cool video for you, 70 bonus packs. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, thumbs up this video, helps the videos out. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we can find. Our sponsor for this video is Daniel S. Daniel, thank you very much. Sorry for the uh, different background and paper today, but we are on location right here. And I finally got uh, my, my box. I had to go to a local card store to grab this one because my cases didn't come in today. So I paid 160 for this box after tax. It was almost 170. Now this box went on sale today on Panini's website at 1 p.m. Eastern time. They had a limit of five per person. And guess what? They sold out in just a couple minutes. I actually forgot about it. And I went back at like 110 and they were completely sold out. They're all gone. So again, baseball cards are really, really hot. Even cards without logos on them. Some people love Panini because they give you the extra hits. You get, for example, three hits per box, whereas Topps gives you one. But you don't have the logos going on with uh, this release. And some people can, can deal with that. Some people can't. So you can see that Clayton Kershaw gets the cover boy spot. And uh, let's go ahead and rip these open and see what we can find. Pack number one. We got Matt Chapman on the back. The card set by the way has 262 total cards there's also two short prints at the end the san diego chicken um is one of those two and there's a dd gregorius and jeff mcneil this is our second one i'm looking at the design here i kind of like the design 1987 kind of a play on the 87 design there for bartolo cologne we've got a lance lynn We've got Big Puma, the nickname variation for Lance Berkman. There's a nice Diamond Kings card of Christian Yelich, despite having like a 200 batting average last year. They still gave him the Diamond King nod. They always give um, the top player on each team a Diamond King with Don Russ. Been doing that for years, ever since the uh, early 80s. We've got Dallas Keuchel there out of 2021. And a Matt Chapman is our last one there. So lots of parallels. I believe you get one of those blues in every single pack. Here's pack number two. We've got a Juan Soto Diamond King. That's a nice looking card right there. Now the back to the card, typical Don Russ back. Um, I don't want to call it boring, but it's, it's just a basic back. Nothing much going on there. We'll go ahead and flip these around here. We've got Zach Wheeler. Then there's Alex Verdugo. Gary Carter, 87. There's a Mookie Betts. Ryan Mountcastle, one of the top rookies. You guys saw him with the gold cup on him in 2021 tops. And uh, he's back. There's, I think, 32 rated rookies in this year's set. We'll go ahead and get that one sleeved up. There's Tony Two Bags. And our last card there is a Nolan Arnato. That one's out of 2021 also in his Colorado Rockies uniform, of course. Now he's suited up for the St. Louis Cardinals. And we're on to pack number three. We've got a Ronald Acuna Jr. on the back. There's Brandon Belt, Cody Bellinger. We've got Sammy Sosa, 87. Dom Smith, Bigfoot. I didn't even know that that was uh, Lucas Giolito's nickname there, but um, pretty interesting. They, 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 <laughs> they have it, even have it on the back. Trevor Bauer, of course, the Cy Young Award winner. And here comes our first hit of the video. It is a Tristan McKenzie autograph. From the Cleveland Indians, Tristan McKenzie came up, had a nice uh, rookie season there in the shortened 2020. So we got one auto in the books already. There's going to be a grand total of two more hits. I'm hoping that it would be nice if there are both autos, but we'll see. Don Russ in the past has done hot boxes, uh, roughly one per case or so, where you get like five autographs. I'm not sure if that's back this year or not. There's a nice Casey Mize rated rookie card, and that one is a blue parallel. We'll get that one sleeved up for Daniel. 
Cindergard again, there's John Means, 87, Randy Johnson. Kenta Maeda, we've got a Jazz Chisholm, rated rookie. Clayton Kershaw, the cover boy, and Dansby Swanson out of 2021 is our last card there. Let's go ahead to the next pack. You'll have to let me know which design you like better, 2021 tops, which some people said that 2021 tops looks kind of like a, uh, you know, kind of like a hybrid of maybe like a Don Ross and a 2020 Bowman card. Um, so far, the design, I don't know. I don't, I'm kind of probably thinking it might be like a, a C plus, B minus. Sam Huff rated rookie card. There's a nice Ramon Laureano stars, not numbered. And we have a Martin Perez blue parallel as our last one right here. Next up, Bo Jackson's on the back. Donovan Solano there. We've got a yellow parallel coming up of some sort. Let's see what that one's all about. There's Bo Bichette. The Tominator. I did not even know that was Jim Tomey's nickname. The Tominator. We got a Paul Molitor out of... Nice low number there. Out of 19. I'm not sure what the... Um, oh, it's the, the pandemic mask emoji <laughs> out of 19. So... That's a pretty interesting card. Probably worth a, a bit of money. A weird card like that. There's oddball collectors out there that collect that oddball stuff. And next pack up, we've got Nelly Cruz, who's still kicking. And look at this one. We've got a, a Randy Rosarena. We'll see if that's just an insert or an autograph here in a second. I, I hope it's an autograph, but I, I bet you it's a, an insert. There's Will Myers. There's Anthony Rizzo. Larry Tavares, and here comes the hit. It's a nice-looking card right there. Dominators, Randy Rosarena out of $9.99. That's a beautiful-looking card right there. Very nice. Of course, Panini's doing very well with uh, football and basketball just shooting through the roof. Some people really starting to get on the Panini bandwagon. There's Yadier Molina. Back-to-back -back Yadier Molina. So um, I don't know what the difference is here. One might be a... Uh, short print, more of a zoomed-in image there. It says the Lou instead of their team name there. So same card number, but one is a photo variation. I'm guessing that this one is the photo variant. Next up, we've got Jose Ramirez and Tyler Stevenson, the nice rookie catcher from the Cincinnati Reds. This is a Liberty parallel. Pretty nice one right there. I think there's one of those per box on average, and to have it be Tyler Stevenson is pretty good. We've got a Salvi Perez out of 2021, and Starling Marte is our last card there. From stack number one for Daniel. Still got two more hits left. Let's see what we've got. Javi Baez, Kyle Hendricks. There's John Papelbon. For some reason, they decided to give him a card in this. Personally, I was never a big John Papelbon fan. I, maybe you were. And here's our next hit. It's a Diamond Kings Tim Anderson. This is what is going on here. It's sticking a little bit. It is a blue star variation there. So, so many parallels going on so far. I feel like every pack has at least like two or three parallels. That card had a very vintage stock feel to it. All right, so we've got Chris Bassett as the first one in our next pack. Pedro Martinez. There's Mike Trout. Very nice card right there. Bryce Harper. Evan White, rated rookie, and we have Herman Marquez and Jose Canseco, 1987. I, I really like the 87 blue border cards. They look more like the 87 original cards. I, mean, I don't know. The white border on these 87 designs just really isn't cutting it for me. Here's the next pack. I think we have a hit in here for Daniel. You can see there's a thicker card. Let's see what we've got going on here. There's a Byron Buxton, David Ortiz, Miguel Rojas, Tim Anderson once again. The Alex Kirilov, which is going to be a really good card, I feel like. Kirilov, keep an eye on him for the Twins. Let's see. You probably have a relic here. It's going to be Luis Robert. Very nice. A Luis Robert game-used jersey card. So that's your second hit. You've got one more out there. So congratulations on that one. Luis Robert. Some people are a little bit down on this guy because he had 233 last year. But I think he's the real deal. We'll see um, if that athleticism really translates this year in a full 162. So you got Tristan McKenzie and Luis Robert, two youngsters. And let's see what your third and final hit's going to be, Daniel. It's going to be in, in one of these packs. A pack of these is probably going to run you about 6 to $7 at your LCS. These packs are, or these boxes on eBay are around $159 a piece, $160. 
Like I said, I paid 160 for my box. Jose Beria, Chef G. The, what? Since when is that Garrett Cole's nickname? Uh, I don't know if they're just making stuff up or if that's a recent nickname. Uh, in Pittsburgh, they call him the Cole Train. Uh, we have Paul Molitor and our parallel is going to be a Keston here out of 2021. Next pack up. We'll see what uh, Garrett Cole puts up this year in terms of strikeouts. Be nice to see him strike out 300 guys again. Although I'm sure, I don't know if he's going to have to cut back on some of the substance that he uses along with everybody else in the major leagues. There's, there's going to be people watching him now. Andres Jimenez, rated rookie. He got traded over to the Indians. We have, what is this? It says Kiss Daddy for the Milwaukee Brewers. It's a blue star parallel of Keston Hira. Kiss Daddy. Um, that's probably the last time I'll ever say that again. But that's his supposed nickname there. Interesting. Uh, all right, Luis Castillo is the next car. There's Keston Hira, Cal Ripken, Hyunjin Rio, Fernando Tatis. Uh, that's another name we've got to watch, Fernando Tatis. His rookie cards might just go through the roof. They've already been going way up. Jordan Alvarez out of 2021. Now that he's got the $340 million deal, maybe he can relax, not press as much. I'm not saying he was pressing before, but he may uh, take his star to just another stratosphere here. Zach Veen on the back, a nice prospect with the uh, actually a number one pick. First rounder for the Colorado Rockies. There's Luke Voigt. We've got Nate Pearson, and we have Zach Veen. This one is going to be numbered out of 999. A rated prospect card. A very nice one right there, Zach Veen. You can hear there's a siren in the background, possibly. It's, you know, prefacing, foreshadowing a huge hit coming up, and they just didn't get the memo to wait, uh, uh, you know, a minute. Let's see who that last hit is going to be. There's a Liam Hendricks. He just signed that big deal with the Chicago White Sox. A lot of people have the Chicago White Sox as the best team in the American League right now, which is going to be really interesting to see how they come together. Jacob deGrom was making major waves last night, hit 102 miles an hour in spring training, and struck out seven Houston Astros. Didn't give up a hit. Looked like he, pro I mean, he probably could have gone the whole game pitching no hitter, but there's no, no reason to do that in spring training. Look out for deGrom this year. I mean, bringing it 102, that's just not even fair. And look at this. We have the Unleashed insert card. It's a Marcelo Zuna. We'll check that one out here in a second. We've got Greg Maddox. So let's see what this Unleashed card looks like. It is a pretty nice looking card right there. It's out of 149, Unleashed with some lions and possibly a bear and a snake back there. Marcelo Zuna. Interesting looking design. Of that card. So there's one of those per box. That's the box hit. Marcel Ozuna. Not a lot of value to his cards, but he is a very decent player. Ian Happ is the next one up. We've got Manny Machado leading things off in this next pack. There's Whit Merrifield. Still one more autograph or relic hiding out in one of these packs. It's going to be in one of these last six packs. So let's see if we can find here Renato Nunez is the last card there. Hope you'll join us again tomorrow for that 70 pack opening. Sunday, we'll have the live stream for you. Mike Trout, this is a photo variation. You can see he's got the uh, the neck scarf going on right there. Nice looking card. Christian Javier, this is gonna be our third and final hit. It's a Christian Javier from the Houston Astros. Nice looking auto. So two autos, one relic. The relic was a good one for you, Daniel. So congratulations on that. But yeah, we'll be live on Sunday night, probably around like 8 o'clock or so Eastern time, breaking open a few cases of 2021 Don Ross. Mystery Box Monday's coming up on Monday, then Tuesday. It looks like I'll have a card store video for you guys. For those of you who like the card store visits, we've got a card store coming up. And actually, I was in there. Um, that's out of 2020. They bought a collection off this guy. I forget what they paid for. I didn't really ask. I didn't want to be too nosy. I mean, I did ask to film the original Babe Ruth card that they just like took out of like a, a top loader. I was like, wow, did that come into that collection that you just bought? And they're like, yeah. I was like, can I, you know, film that for a second? Yeah, that's awesome. And they said, yeah. So, uh, I don't know what they paid for this collection, but they had some nice cards coming in. They, there was a lot of junk wax. They actually had, um, a bunch of junk wax that I think they uh, were going to throw away. It was in a garbage can, believe it or not. So some 89 Donruss. I think they made sure they got rid of the, uh, the most valuable cards 
or they kept the most valuable cards. There's a Ricky Henderson, Reese Hoskins. But yeah, there's a, I'm trying to go to a couple of different card stores to bring you guys some extra videos. But it's going to be a really busy week also next week. We have Inception coming out, opening day. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. There's a Randy Rose Arena. No longer a rookie card, but a nice looking card right there. That's another name to keep an eye on because a lot of you guys likely have his rookie cards and are invested in him. Casey Mize, number one overall pick a few years ago. There's Garrett Cole and David Ortiz. And now that brings us to two packs left. Maybe we'll hit the whammy in here, the case hit. Maybe a one of one, who knows? We got Josh Donaldson, another Unleashed. Two Unleashed insert cards. That was unexpected. I thought we already got the, the box hit. It says, I thought there was just one per box. Looks like I was wrong. We're going to get two here, and it's a nice one. Ken Griffey Jr. Unleashed. It is not numbered, but it, it appears like the background is going to be the same. Oh, there it is. The number is actually there. It's out of 349. Appears like the backgrounds are going to be the same and for every Unleashed card, but congratulations, Daniel, on getting the nice Ken Griffey Jr. card right there. And now here it is, the final pack of the video. Again, I hope you guys have a nice rest of your Friday. I hope you have a great weekend. If you haven't hit that thumbs up button yet, please do so as we finish things up here with Martin Perez, Starling Marte. There's Bo Jackson, Renato Nunez for the second time, Luis Patino, Ray Rookie, Keston Hira. There's a Gary Carter out of 371. And the final card of the video, it is going to be Byron Buxton. All right, everybody, so that'll do it. That's your look at 2021 Don Russ. We'll be opening up. Uh, probably a few cases of this on Sunday night at the very least and uh, hoping to find lots of hits with three hits per box. So I hope you'll join us for that. Make sure you check us out tomorrow for the 70 box topper, box loader, bonus pack video. Uh, that'll be an interesting one to rip all those open. And uh, have a great rest of your Friday, like I said. So I will see you all later. Good night, everybody.